Halo 3 PC release date has just been announced, but is the game ready? And what are all the changes coming to Halo 3 as well for the Xbox and PC? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. It helps more people get a chance to get in the know and see this video so they can stay updated with everything going on with Halo. And as the Halo news cycle continues, we just got some information that the Halo Infinite reveal day is going to be July 23rd. We, next day, we got a reveal of the release day of Halo 3, which is going to be on July 14th. I called it right on the dot July 14th guys because from my experience of playing the flights on PC it was a really good experience and I would not expect a whole lot to be changed from that so I was thinking probably about two weeks after the flight ends and the flight ended on the 29th and then essentially two weeks later we're getting the full-on release of the game but there is so much more than just Halo 3 being released on the PC there are multiple big big changes coming to the MCC version of Halo 3 on PC PC and on Xbox, so I thought I'd give you a nice brief overview on this. Now, I have talked about these in previous videos in greater length, so if you want to check out the nitty gritty details, check those videos out. But if you want to get just the overview of everything that's happening, stay tuned throughout the whole video. Number one on this list is a new season. We're getting season two for the MCC, our first new season since the release of Halo Reach on PC. That is exciting. According to 343, there are over 100 items to be added into this next season, so it's gonna be a nice, thick boy of a grind to get your content out. I will say that most of these customization options will be from Combat Evolved, so like weapon, visor, and vehicle skins. That's right, we have new customization when it comes to the release of Halo 3 on PC for Combat Evolved. So it's not just Halo 3 greatness. It's a little bit of Combat Evolved on top of that. Talking about the customization, we have new customization, like we have previously with like the original Halo 3 where you can choose individual armor pieces. You can do that now again with the MCC on Xbox and on PC because currently with Halo 3 on the Xbox, you have a preset armor selection like Recon, EOD, the entire armor set just all together. So now you can customize your character as much as you would like with individual coloring as well as the individual iconic armor pieces from Halo 3. Number three is a huge part for the PC community and that's Forge coming to the MCC on PC. Now, yes, we do have Forge on the Xbox, but there is actually a lot of additional changes coming to Forge when Halo 3 releases, not just for PC being able to play it and use mouse and keyboard or controller if you'd like, but a ton of new assets being added in and an updated version of Halo 3's Forge that pretty much puts it up to the standards of Halo Reach's Forge. So that's very exciting to see what the community will be able to create with Halo 3's new updated system of being able to like phase objects, coordinate positioning, and just so much more. A really well updated version that more than just releasing Halo 3's Forge on PC. Number four on this list are that the competitive skill ranks for each playlist are going to be reset when Halo 3 relaunches. Now I understand that a lot of people can be upset with having their ranks removed or reset, and I can totally understand that, but let us keep in mind here though that they brought in a brand new system when it comes to the competitive skill matching in the MCC. They basically stated that the old system had a lot of flaws with it, a lot of you know things that really kind of hindered the experience of trying to develop for this game. So now the new one has a much more smoother, cleaner kind of setup. We haven't got too much details on it, but I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty much the exact same ranking system as I got a reply back from Postons about that, saying that yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, just a much more efficient system system so uh, you guys will have to regrind all your ranks again in the MCC overall. Now there was some confusion in my previous video talking about this exact subject and not your overall XP rank. That will maintain the exact same. I'm talking about your competitive ranks per playlist like, like uh, your ranked hardcore playlists or in uh, various other playlists that are ranked in the MCC. Those are all going to get reset back down to one. Number five on the list are cinematic changes. Now with the upscaling to 4k and higher FPS and different aspect ratios for Halo 3, some of 
of the quick shortcuts that they took for grander scale scenes that uh, they use actually yeah, like more like a JPEG PNG kind of file for the backdrop when they had just really the only thing that was animated was like a ship flying through much like when you first see the arc or the mission on Cortana when they're flying away through the wreckage. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. You can see on the left side it's kind of a blurry jagged image doesn't really exactly scale up super well but now on the right is a new updated version that will be coming with the release of Halo 3 on PC for the Xbox and PC platforms. Number six is a great addition that I'm super excited about and that is the challenge system that apparently was in the release of Halo 2 but there was no UI for it so this is really the true release of the challenge system for the MCC. Essentially a new tile has been added into the options and settings you can check out exactly where you need to find your new challenges that kind of complete for your weekly and seasonal PvE and PvP challenges. Now many of these are going to be granting extra XP gains so you can grind through the season pass a little bit faster but you can also unlock specific items determining what kind of challenges have those specific unlocks. For example we saw one where you can unlock a weapon skin in CE by completing a specific challenge. Now trust me I definitely will be releasing weekly videos giving you guys the best tips and tricks on how to get through your challenges the fastest way possible or crank through that season pass so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys to keep yourselves updated with all the great stuff happening with Halo 3 and beyond when it comes to the MCC. And also lastly number seven a fun little addition here is the acrophobia skull being added into Halo 3. If you don't know what that is essentially it's like a kind of a makeshift version of a jetpack. Here's a video showcasing what it can do. Basically you can just lift yourself up and move forward. Apparently this was something that wanted to be added in to Combat Evolved but it just got cut for time and for content reasons as well. Like a map like Boarding Action was actually supposed to have jetpacks and so that brought in that feature into Halo 3's campaign. Now this is just a skull you can turn it on and off as much as you'd like but it's a fun addition that I think a lot of people will certainly enjoy playing the new campaigns. But yeah Halo 3's release state on PC has been announced. I'm super excited about this. We definitely will be streaming that a ton, especially on release day, guys. So make sure you check the description, which has a link to my Twitch channel, guys. We'll be streaming that a ton. I mean, a ton on my Twitch channel. So I hope you guys to see you all there. And so I'm super excited about this. I'm ready to grind out some ranks in Halo 3, and I cannot wait for this to be happening. This is going to be probably the pinnacle of population and hype when it comes to MCC on PC. So I hope you guys are all excited as well. So leave a comment down below what you're most excited about with Halo 3's launch on PC. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Check the videos on the screen over here. If you missed any content from me, I got a playlist to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.